Um, Nick? Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18, just like me? Um, yeah, why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time by herself, and she's so grown up. Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me, and well... I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Um, but I think you are really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Good morning! <laughs> okay, girl, please tell me you took a terrain and you didn't run this whole time again. The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Miss Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother's coming today to show her support. I don't think she is, though. I don't think she is. Y yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Hmm? Yes, Mr. Nick. Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? <gasps> huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please. It's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. Pearly, not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, all right, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later, then. I'll leave you two to alone time. My god, Pearl. Oh, thank goodness. Nick? This way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? Oh, yeah. It's gonna be really bad. It's gonna be real gruesome. Oh, she's already channeled. Court is now in session for the trial of my FA. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool, wearing a foolishy foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me. I as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh, that's nice, Miss Von Karma. Hmm, glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Fay. Oh, it's true what they say. Women are really are scary when they fight. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Uh, Alright, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of the arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. Uh, what? What? But, Miss Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying, then, that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Then, what is the meaning of this? All I'm saying is that Ms. Maya Fay, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call it a defendant's aunt, Morgan Faye, to the stand. Just as I suspected, Aunt Morgan. Or Mia. She seems really torn by this. Witness. Name and occupation. My name is Morgan Faye, and I am a spirit medium, in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean, in a manner of speaking? Ugh! I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. 
that's a spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world, that is. Y yes. That is. <laughs> you. Be quiet. Now, witness. Something has happened while you are performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. Wh what in the world could have... Miss Maya, she escaped from the room. What? And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fey, while in a possessed state, managed to escape the channeling chamber. Order. Miss Fey, please testify to the court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ant on this trial. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door down, the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. The pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand, and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck, and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid that I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Her? Why have you hidden this until now? I, I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix, right? Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. Mr. Phoenix, right? Your cross-examination, please. My aunt is very smart and a sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. All right, you say those two. Is you talking about me and Lada? Yeah, I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself. Um, Lada's not a foreigner, despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply cannot understand her atrocious English, not to mention she looked awful. I can already see people in the heartland gearing up for a riot. In any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright? Oh, thanks. Hmm, what did you do after that, Miss Faye? Yeah? What is... Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes, that is a very good point. At that time, I myself was a little confused, on top of which there was another. Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself? I want to hear the end of that sentence. Question further. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. Mmm, the lives of both the good sir and the camera woman may be in danger, is what I thought to myself. Very clever. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us in napping. That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. We still got full health. A pistol was hanging, and she was in a daze. During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head. And this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by the statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. But why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this. However, 
The witness was the line to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya? Question further. So, you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the renegade mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. S something unexpected? Pray tell. The witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Yes, very well. Uh, why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. Then quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped the room. That's a pretty bold claim. Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit to such a thing. However, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. Mm, sorry. There is no way she could have eas escaped from you so easily. But they made the argument earlier that when she is channeling, she took on the form of the nurse who is bigger and stronger. Yeah, she's gonna bring it up. What about this picture? Totally different person. Ick. Hmm. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, couldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yeah, well yes, I would have. However, with great strength, she hit the base of your neck, and you fainted for a while. I became dizzy and then collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I... I'm not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps? Hmm. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy witness. Elaborate on that point for us. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? So while you were unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true, then how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this, but the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? Oh, they're going to bring in any mini. She has another witness up her sleeve. That's what looks like Miss Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. That's enough. From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Fey did leave the chamber. Hmm, I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. But it will. Now, let's take on the next logical stop and ask, where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? I think they're going to say to the incinerator, Be quiet, you. Now then, what the escapee has done was... She had gone to speak with a certain person. She went to speak with someone? Who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Annie Minnie, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Annie Minnie? I think you can see where this is headed. 